Okay, family, I came on. Um, one of my girls had sent me a message and she wanted to know um, what was the name of the pattern of the jumpsuit with the frilly in the front. So um, it is definitely a Vogue pattern. Okay, Vogue 1249. Now, one thing about this, you have to really have some skill. You know what I'm saying? One thing about Vogue, well, a lot of the patterns, it'll tell you, it'll rate the intensity level on your pattern. So this one would be considered as average, if you see that right there. Average. Um, now, what you want to do, a really easy pattern that you can buy, uh, the really easy ones, let's go with Quick Sew. Quick Sew. They're higher, they cost a little bit more money, but it is a very, very good pattern. And just as with the jumpsuits, okay, one thing about it, one thing I like about Quick Sew is the fact that you don't have the, the side seam on the outside of your leg. You know how like some of your jumpsuits and things that you'll make or you'll buy or whatever, and they'll have a side seam on the back of your leg. I mean, excuse me, on the side of your leg, on your hip area. And um, one thing about quick sew is you don't get that. And then plus, let me show you another difference with quick sew and they're more expensive um you rarely catch them on sale you can't find them a lot of places i know hancock have them but the quick sews are sometimes hard to find joann's don't carry quick sew now joann's do carry berta okay berta is another one that's a good um easy pattern um and see they too you know get straight to the point whereas when you look at other patterns like this right here this is a bagley though it, it falls under uh vogue but one thing about vogue they have a lot of couture patterns you know what i'm saying a lot of designer wear and I simply love this red gown. Do, can you guys see that? Look at that red gown right there. Um, this is V1030. Oh, it's here at the bottom. And this dress, I bought the, um, see over here at the end here. And I bought uh, from size 14 to size 22. But this dress here is strictly the business. Let me hold it like that so y'all can see it really good. Um, but it calls for a lot of material. Because to make it size 18, it takes five and a half yards. Yeah. But it's beautiful. It's all get out. I love this pattern. I love it. And it's also average as far as the, the intensity of it. Um, and it also has the invisible zipper in, this, in the back. And guys, zippers are where I have a problem with zippers. And believe it or not, I have a problem with buttonholes. It's crazy. Now, I do have quite a bit of sewing manuals and sewing books and stuff. Just kind of looking over there to see if I can pick it out kind of real quick and just kind of grab it. But it'll probably take me a minute. So, anyway, but um, I'm sitting here and I'm just kind of going through patterns. I like this long floral pattern prairie type dress i love 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 that dress and i guess the sleeves is what's really getting next to me too the way those sleeves are i love that 
that is bad in the mud. I mean, even I would go with, um, I would even modify it and go with an A and then just use the sleeve from a C. That's banging. I love that. Love it. How much material is that, though? And this is a McCall's 5805. You see that? Okay, now to make C, the long one, and a size 18, four and five eight yards. Plus it has to be fully lined. It's a lot to this right here. It's a Laura Ashley. And when they don't tell you what it is, the intensity of it, you better have some sewing skills. Because it's not even giving me the intensity on here. It's not even saying. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I've been up since five. I got my dinner done, though. So it is now... 11.07. My beans are done. Ham hock and all that. Right now, Tioni's washing the dishes and cleaning out the refrigerator. And so, um, I'm going to just put on a pot of white rice and make a pan of cornbread and all that stuff. And I'm going to be done. I'm going to be out for the count. In fact, I think I'm going to grab me a couple of weeks of sleep while I'm bullshitting. But I think what I am going to do, though, before I clock out is cut out i have this material here it is pretty like an apricot pretty isn't it i like it um and then i have these little things to put you know like to sew those in to be like around the sleeve and you know different little things like little embellishings um i like that so these i don't know how i will incorporate that but i'm just trying to get my thoughts together on what I'm going to do and all that kind of stuff. Oh, did I show, did I, did I show, I don't know if I showed her or not. It's 1249 on that pattern that my girl from Shreveport, Louisiana, holla at your motherfucking girl, uh, Port City, yeah, mama got you. And it is V1249 and she wants to make that pattern there. So, yeah, that's what's up on that. Um, I wanted to also show you guys. Hold on. Check this out. Okay. This, I got this little roll away here the other day when me and the kids went out shopping. Uh, this right here, y'all, I ordered me some Spanx online and I just got them on eBay. So, these are some Spanx. Um, and I just got them in the mail. So, yeah. Anyway, but um, this right here is my little crafty thing I just got. And so I'm just filling it up with all my little extra little zoom zooms and wham whams. Little decals for some shirts for me and Tioni. And see, the first time we went to the store, we just got like um, simple stuff like stencils. And this was before I actually bought that um, printer. Um, I got this stuff, I believe it was Saturday or Sunday. No, Sunday, I think. After I talked to Cynthia the next morning, I got up and I went and got these stencils. And let me show you. And these letters, they're all iron-ons. Let me see. Okay, here they go. They're all iron-ons. And I bought the animal print and zebra and something else i can't grab it out y'all why it's not coming out damn the damn drawer fighting with me Shit. okay so um i what i did was i bought two of each um um really mainly my motivation was to get my daughter started in doing crafts and to make some things that are kid friendly and some things that my daughter would like um to make herself some little shirts and things for school 
uh, show a little school spirit, make her little mascot, little shirts and stuff. And that was really my motivation. And to make some teas for myself too because you guys know I like my beaters and things. And um, shout out to Walgreen because Walgreen got those beaters. You know, all these ones, this one that I got on right here. And um, remember a couple months ago I had bought them in all colors. Y'all, I love these beaters right here. It is strictly the business. I love them. Um, they're back four for ten dollars, and that yellow is killer. I love that fucking yellow. Um, so I am gonna go back to Walgreens and grab me another four of them before they go off sale on Saturday. Yeah. So anyway, but let me finish on y'all. Okay. So anyway, and in th here, this is um, you know, just glitter. I just start putting all my little, you know, my crafty stuff in here. Um, well, for my daughter's drill team, um, I had made her some cheering shirts and stuff to go with her uh, sweatsuit that she wore. When they didn't cheer, they also wore their sweatsuits and things. I bought extra um, um, ink um, in girly colors for me and Tioni. For our t-shirts that we're going to put together and make. Tioni likes purple. And her room, believe it or not, is a really, really pretty purple. Her room color is sort of like this purple. Like this purple right here. That, Tioni's room is that color. And so that was our motivation for that. So, yeah. Let's go to drawer number two so we can see what's in drawer number two. Throw some shit in there, it don't matter. Okay, and here it's um, all kind of different beads and stuff. And y'all, I got all kind of shells. Those are, I haven't put those in here yet. Those are in my closet. And some more of my sewing stuff, but all kind of different little chains for, um, chains for the um, jackets. Um, um, I have a, um, bedazzler, and these are for the bedazzler. Those are just little studs and things. Um, wire. Um, necklace kits. Um, these are the absolute best, best, best. If you're talking about some blingets, some Savasi-inspired crystals, these are the best. I mean, and I have a lot of them. And you're talking about a lot of blingage to them. So, yeah. When I make my baby's... Uh, when I make my baby's shirts, she just won't have just normal shirts. Mama can't do it like that. Mommy got to give her some blingage on her shirts and stuff. On mine, too. I don't know if you can really see the blingage on those. But when I make her shirts... They're going to be cold-blooded, I promise you, because I don't do nothing half-ass. Um, this right here goes to the uh, the uh, the printer. The printer. So, anyway, family. So, that's what we're over here doing. That Well, that's what I'm over here doing. I'm sitting here trying to get my mind together to get started on cutting out something before I take me a nice little nap. Um... When does Wendy's show come back on regular? I mean, why are we still getting the um, reruns and things? When the season start back up? Because, I mean, I'm tired of that. I'm just keeping it 100, Wendy. I mean, when, 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 when you coming back to work, Mama? Yeah. So, anyway, let me go ahead on and sign off on this one, y'all. I love y'all to death. I just want to keep you guys up on my sewing thing. And especially for my girl, let her know what pattern that was because she wanted to know. All right, family. I love you guys. Deuces. Love you. Bye-bye. Oh, look it. These are all these are patterns that I was just going through. This is the whole thing of patterns in here. And then here's another bag of all kinds of freaking patterns. Look at this shit. Look how cold-blooded this bitch is here. Is that not some bad shit? Don't fuck with me when I get busy. On some shit. Holla. And look, check this out. Wait a minute, where's this blouse that I was looking at? This one right here. Is that shit not cold-blooded?
Hell yeah, and some real badass chiffon or something. Yeah, I'm on that. All right, family. Bye.